welcome, welcome. So I've got two sawed-off shotguns going here with shotgun shells. I'm going to do a Joe mission for today's daily challenge. We will go there and look at, first look at the catalog and then we'll put it away. Joe mission, one of them. The easiest way to get there is to fast travel to Emerald Ranch. Emerald Station. Now the exciting thing about this video is I'm going to dual wield the sawed off shotguns in first person. Depending on what the mission is. If it's close range combat, yes. I'll try to pick the closest mission to be close range combat as possible. It works better in first person with sawed off shotguns and, and dual wield, okay? You just got better aim. Oh, wow, got some blue players. I'm going to do a Joe mission. I'm going to do a Joe mission. And I'm getting griefed. You see that? You get griefed. You press charges, just like that. You respawn. And now they just want me to grief right back so they can just keep griefing me. That's what they want. You know, that's their thought, their mentality here is, is that I, I kill them now. And then they kill me over and over and over and over and over and over and chase me and chase me and just chase me. Because they're psychotic. And you know how I know? Because they griefed me right away. They just want me, now they want me to take the bait. All I was wanted to do was a Joe mission. That's it. I'm trying to test my sawed off shotguns, which are $111 a piece. Very affordable for new players. Very, they do a lot of damage. And from what I found out, if you do it up close, combat, in first person, it's better aim. Especially when you fire from the hip. Third person just doesn't seem to have as good as aim in third person. Wait a minute. Third person firing from the hip. <laughs> is what I meant to say. Is not as accurate as first person firing from the hip. I made a video about it. I don't know what the title is yet because it's still uploading right now. So here's Joe. You want more of your capitale? No, we're not going to do a drone mission. Go on. Now, boat theft, release bushwhack, paid killing. Uh, paid killings are sometimes I'm real waiting. players, and I'm not up for that. Boat theft. Here we go. This one, this one they're probably going to up close will be, this will be good. This is the closest one I think that will work. Most times, <clears throat> feller goes down. It's their business. They can rot. <laughs> These He's got the sawed-off shotgun too. Yep. Got a decent stash buried. So if we break them out of there, we stand a good chance to make good money. I'll let a feller rot, but cash I will not. You get them fellers, and we'll get that money. They're bringing them into roads from the north. Don't let them get there. Right on, Joe. Right on, bro. Don't let them get there. Rescue the prisoners. Now, from what I've talked to some folks, you know how it's got the lock on the gate on the gate for the prisoner rescue? Oh, wow. And those, those griefers are still here. They could still possibly grief me. So we're going with the, with the double sawed-off shotgun to make sure I got both in my hands. Make sure. Yes, I do. From what I hear, the lock breaker that you can buy at the fence is will work on the lock for these type of missions. Now, as far as being infinite uses, I was told yes. I don't know. I haven't tested it. It's ninety-five dollars at the fence. I just haven't. I just haven't wanted to spend ninety-five dollars yet to test that out. So, yeah. Now the griefers, even though I could see them, they couldn't see me. Because they griefed me first. They're the aggressor. I can see them. 
and I press charges, so... The whole lobby knows it, too. The whole lobby knows that I press charges against them. And I think they stay red. I think they stay red, and then other players can hunt them down. So... That's how you do it, that's how you handle it. And you don't engage, because then they troll you. They'll and Then they'll figure out ways to follow you from lobby to lobby, and then troll you some more, and then just mess with you, just to mess with you. When they really don't get anything out of it. There's no bonus, there's, there's no goal to it, there's no belt to be earned. Nothing. There's, does PvP give you XP if you're the, maybe if you're if you're the aggressor? I'll bet you if you're the non-aggressor, if you're the one defending yourself, I wonder if they give it XP. You know, I don't know. I never paid attention. Because I have won PvP before from defending myself, and that is the best feeling. I was going to fight back because I knew they were going to follow me. You can, I could tell they were going to grief me. And then they took me out with a rifle. I didn't see, I didn't even look to see what weapon it was. Yeah, I wasn't in the mood. I was not in the mood. All I wanted to do was a daily challenge, and that's what I'm doing, so. Here we are now. I said I was going to do it in first person. Let's go, horse. Now, this is super fast. Look how fast that is. Super fast in first person. I, I gotta drink something here. To, we'll do with some moonshine. Yeah, that's good. No, we don't want that. Wait, wait. Items. Health cure. That's good. That's good. Let's go. We I got. We gotta make sure I'm loaded here. All right. No. No worries. Oh yeah, I'm loving the dual wield. Why, why am I going the other way? Horse, what are you doing? My horse turned around. I don't know what that was. First person is not exactly user friendly. We're gonna go back to third now. Third person. Somebody behind me. I'm dead. Yeah, you know, it takes a lot of practice. You don't just bring t guns like this that only have two bullets each and think you're going to do well. Unless you've practiced at it, which I intend to do. I wa you know, I wanted to do first person close up like this. Running around like this. Look how fast this is shooting from the hip. That was four shots. It sounded like two, didn't it? That's four shots. It sounds exactly like two. It only sounds like four when you aim. One, two, three, four. But when you shoot from the hip... Oh my gosh. So much carnage. That's what I wanted to do. But it's hard to do on horseback. Hard to do on horseback. Haha. <laughs> you don't shoot a lock with a shotgun. You just don't. All right, we're going to go first person back. Let's make sure the guy's on there. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> we're going to go to where we need to go. To the drop-off in first person. This is always fun. Crime reported. No, we got to go back to third now. It's much easier here. <clears throat> so the, the, the two sawed-off shotguns are much better on foot. Yes. So I'm not going to jump off my horse just to do that now. That would be dumb. Prisoner gets shot. Or he follows me. I don't know. And he gets killed. I can just simply outrun them. That's the actual law in the game. But I have to outrun first. And I'm going in the exact opposite direction where I'm supposed to be going. I've only got like nine minutes. Plus, we got those griefer, griefers in this lob, lobby. Unless they jump lobbies. That's what they do, is they go from lobby to lobby. They look for someone to take the bait. Then they have their fun. That's how they get their fun. Because <clears throat> they know there's gonna, a genuine reaction to somebody else 
in another part of the world is is actually getting you know bad thoughts <clears throat> you know that they they feed off that karma of negativity that's that's what gets there that's how they have fun and they just look at, they're looking for someone to take the bait they're looking for someone to take that bait here they come over the hill that's a law lawman he's just too close what are you doing what's going on why is my horse doing that Weird. Weird glitches in this game that make no sense. So now real players can come after me. Oh, great. Real players can come after me and grief me now. I hope I just don't run into those other people. They will definitely grief me. Those people that I ran into before, unless they jumped lobbies. Well, there's a... Looks like to be a roadblock. You look like a goddamn fool. Well, I almost killed us. Yeah, they're too far away. Oh, I can't, I can't see. I wonder. <clears throat> I'm so glad I didn't accidentally kill us. That would have that just made everything look stupid in this video worthless. <clears throat> oh, what am I doing? I'm totally missing my opportunity. Here we go. Gotta dodge the bullets. First person. Get up. I'm doing a mission. I'm doing a mission for, uh, what's his name, uh, Joe, for the daily challenge. And these people are fucking with me. These NPCs. Alright, bro. Later. Uh, sorry, dude. Sorry, my horse got in your way, bro. Alright, bro. Appreciate you. Shit, they're firing at me. I gotta go. Later, bro. That was a nice guy. Nice guy. You all couldn't hear him because it was uh, like a closed circuit speaker. Where I can hear him in my ear, and I don't have a speaker attached to my TV so where you can hear him too. That costs like 300 bucks to get something like that. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Gosh, you know, I went in there like Leroy Jenkins. I could have died. So I got my daily challenge. I ranked up. That means a treasure map for me. Let's see what rank 95 is. <clears throat> I'm making money now. Nothing. All you get is progress to the next rank and, of course, a treasure map because every five levels earns a treasure map, as everybody knows. Yeah, that's how this game is. Yeah, and you're going to run into real players like that. you got to make the best of the situation. So you've got two different griefers today. Or, not, or two different, not griefers, but two different types of players. Griefers and people that are not griefers that you run into in this game. You know, and then there's this house over here. <clears throat> I think this is somebody's moonshine shack. There's usually, there's usually collectibles here. I think it's a tarot card. Yeah, it's right over here. No, it's a plant. <clears throat> Have a good day. So I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to uh, show these sh show these a little bit better. Let me just show you again how awesome they are. This is aiming. One, two, three, four. This is firing from the hip. Now the the difference between firing from the hip and third person is watch watch how watch how my see where I'm aiming at. You can see it. It's kind of hard to see. There, the water makes it easier. When I fire my weapon, see how it kind of moved up. But when you do it in first person, it always aims. It's always going to shoot where you're aiming. Third person, there's a chance that it's going to move. I don't know why. 
you're better off doing it in first person. Unless you aim, of course, then third person is fine if you're, if you're aiming. All right, so that's it's just so cool. Can you imagine? Okay, first person, you're like, load them up. Nope, I'm now I'm out of ammo. Darn it! You only get it. You can only carry uh, 60, and each gun then that's 30 per gun, per sawed-off shotgun. So you know they go fast. But wow, are they fun! Have a good day, everybody.